So today we're exploring our backyard fallout shelter built in the 1960s by the previous owner of our house. I had a shot looking up the ladder and this is the passageway going back into the main room. This is a big vault door that the owner built going into the main room. Stepping on some kind of rock here. Yeah. Nathan's just ahead of me. You wanna come in? Yeah. Yeah, so this is a bed frame. It's got some shelves over here. You know, we took most of the things out of here and we donated it to our local history museum. So here we got a fluorescent light here, dripping water. So he actually had like electrical and phone down here so we could call his friends after the nuclear bomb drops and they're all dying and he's down here safe. Yeah, it's a bunch of this stuff swimming around in the water down here. Ooh. Some kind of bucket type thing right over by the phone connection. We got some like electrical coming out of the wall there. Yeah, it's a nice looking hose. Check it out. Thank you. Thanks. You're welcome. You should throw that yeah. in. Got a little bit of ventilation down there, up here by this bed. Yeah, give it a good scrape. Mmm. That's, that, that's wonderful. That's, that's just, that's just great. Got some ventilation tubes, it would seem. Do some dry cleaning. In power outlet. Let's try and unplug it with the crowbar that we found. I don't know. Might, you might get electrocuted. Actually, no. We, we 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 cut the power to it. You can't get electrocuted. Electrocuted. No, 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 sure? no fear. Yeah, just grab it. Oh, check it out. There's still have prongs. Oh yeah, it does. It does. Yeah. It's actually in remarkably good shape. Still <laughs> use. We got some weird paper metal. Oh, Is it metal? Rust. Yeah. Like. Huh. It might have been like a... It's metal. Like mirror metal, maybe? So one ins interesting suggestion we got for using this place in the comments of the news stories that were about it was that we could turn it into an underground weed farm. Take a chunk of the shelf off. So the rust stain on the wall is the original water height when we first opened it a couple years ago. About four feet. Most of the artifacts are now part of the collection in our local history museum. However, we hung on to a few of our favorites, including cans of instant coffee, a crowbar, a hammer, assorted tetanus dispensers, and a functioning alarm clock. 